station of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who oh we have. it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man, yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> oh. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Lots of earnings after the close. We're going to have some uh, big action this next 60 minutes. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 74, NASDAQ down 57, S&P's up 5, gold contract down $4.50 trading at 1719 an ounce. You got silver down seven cents, fifteen dollars thirteen cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, twelve dollars seventy six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the uh, ten year right now up eleven ticks, trading one thirty nine flat. The thirty year up a point plus ten ticks at one eighty one twenty eight. And king dollar, king dollar is down one hundred and eighty ticks, trading ninety nine eight sixty. The euro is at one oh eight. The yen is out here at 106 and 0.85, and the British pound is at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. This is going to be a wild, sick, not only, not so much the 60 minutes that we're coming up right now, folks, but after the close. The, re the reason being is that you get, you're going to have... A couple of the big NDX stocks come out. Uh, what we had out here yesterday is that you had a failure in price, failure in volume inside the S&P as well as the NDX 100. Now, the, the benchmark for this failure inside the SPY is 287.30. Now, we're over that number. We hit 291. It gave it up in a, in a big way. Uh, the real question is going to be, are you going to close under the 287.30? And we'll see how that shakes out coming into the close. That's your S&P. The S&P actually has been hanging tough all day long. NDX 100, different ball game. NDX 100, we failed on price, failed on volume yesterday, failed very quickly this morning. Um, inside the queues, we made it up to a price point of $217, while the failure is at 216.51. Uh, that volume there was 62 million. We got up there yesterday with 36. You can see there's no buyers up there. You opened higher than that today and they just sold it down. We're gonna have much higher volume than we had at the highs of yesterday. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold rejected lower price out here this morning. Uh, bottom line, rejected it pretty quickly out here this morning too, by the way. Uh, you got down to a price point of 17.04. You're at 1718 right now. Uh, volume's anemic. You've uh, done uh, 161,000 contracts. Well, you're going into 249,000. This is a flat out rejection. Uh, you haven't got back into the lower range. The lower range uh, is the approximately, it's about 1707. We, we got to 1704 and it said, see, I don't want to be it. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar out here? King dollar, uh, bottom line. Da down 184 ticks, nothing heavy here, 99.855. Your lowest swing point out here that I suspect we're going for is 98.825. Uh, what we do have, and this is really subtle, we'll see whether they can stay underneath it. 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 99.910, 
which we're at 99.855, gets you in the lower range. So if, in fact, we close there, that's going to be a heads up. That'll be saying that it is going to go after these lower swing points. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, which I suspect it doesn't, it looks to me like we're going to have a low volume market, is that you got uh, GE up 41 cents. We have, uh, uh, American Airlines up a dollar thirty six. You have Carnival up one fifty one. Delta is up two twenty two. See that in itself, folks. Okay, this is what's pretty cool to really get wrap, wrap your head around. When you have all the dogs that are the highest volumes, that is problematic because these these stocks are toast, folks. United's up two seventy five. In fact, let's go inside the NDX one hundred because we had two of the four leaders out here today were the dogs. They still are. Uh, you get United up 11%. You have uh, Copart up uh, 6.5. Both in both in both those cases, uh, those those are no doubt bounces. If you get two bucks, you get two bucks. But guess what? Those are the dogs in a huge way. You're talking about United down from uh, 90 dollars. Uh, you know, hit a low in March of 17. You're at 27. Big deal. That, that doesn't doesn't do a thing when you're charging. Higher, which we did off of the open, what you want to be, what you want to see is that you want to see the stocks that are strong inside of the leaders. And if we go, uh, when I was just looking at this, this is a, like really a heads up because Microsoft is one of the strongest stocks out there, has been before the coronavirus came in. Has been afterwards. Okay, Microsoft, a uh, huge expansion. We went from $132 last week. You hit uh, $180. Now, what we're having with Microsoft, Microsoft has a high volume high that's uh, low, to, uh, high volume low at $166. That's going to get tested. Bottom line, that's when we had come down uh, last week. You come down hard and fast. Right now, you don't have an expansion of volume yet, but it's giving it up on price. That's telling me that we want to go down there. Now, after the close out here, this is going to be really wild watching how Google is going to operate. Because Google is down, and you have a slight expansion of volume. Right now, at Google, we're at 1.6 million. Try to make a high yesterday, it's 1.6. So Google also has a high volume low layout here, 1209. That's telling me that Google wants to go after the 1209, where it really can go after. And this is where it's going to get interesting, is that I suspect Google's going to probably try to get into like 1175. Now, if Google does that, folks, okay, that is telling me that the indices are going to come back to the breakout area from April 6th. And what we're going to be able to glean out of some of these earnings this afternoon is that where are they going? And if that's what you get, then that would be a natural retracement back to those areas. If they go higher, guess what? Bottom line, that market would be saying, hey, guess what, man? I want to go topside, and there's nothing that's going to stop me from going topside. It's going to be pretty wild watching it shake out. The Dow Industrials, that really gave it up in spades. You know, the Dow... I uh, got up to a price point of uh, 24500 today, uh, and the bottom line is that uh, you're up 68 bucks, but you're at 24200 Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up, uh, let's see, 59. NASDAQ is uh, down, uh, Na Dow's up 75. NASDAQ down 59. S&Ps are up four. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm at Mr. Jason Path. We are going to be talking oil, gas, central banks. Coming right back. Hey folks, this is Tom O'Brien. On Thursday, April 30th, I'll be holding an all-day online seminar where I'll teach you the essentials of my trading methodology, Timing the Trade. From 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with a lunch break from noon to 1, I'll be covering quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and much more, all while the market is open in real time. When you sign up, I'll mail you a copy of my best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, an $88 value. You'll also receive a free month of my daily trading newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. This six-hour online seminar will be archived if you can't attend the entire day live. My Timing the Trade webinar is taking place Thursday, April 30th, so don't wait to sign up. For all the details and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. 
The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other tigers and tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now up 70. NASDAQ is down 63. S&Ps are up at 3.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jason Path, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday at quarter past the hour. Jason, what's going on, brother? Tom, getting ready for tonight, man. I mean, you said it well. You know, we have a couple of times a year where maybe the evening and the nighttime after hours market's more exciting than the day. And I think we definitely had that teed up this week, or at least today. Oh, there's no doubt, man. And, and, and you know, I, what happens here, folks, is that uh, the last couple of weeks of the last quarter, of course, that's when this thing hit. The real question is going to be inside Google is that what are they going to say going forward? So there's, there's it's a it's a big number. And, you know, Facebook is tomorrow, so the, wherever, wherever Google goes, I think advertising-wise, it's going to you know affect the Facebook stock after the, after hours today. Yeah, absolutely. You certainly ex expect expectations. What would be really interesting is if they diverged. Uh, clearly, uh, you know, no one really knows, but um, it's going to be fascinating. You know, yes. obviously, Google's a proxy for you know uh, other businesses given given their dependence on advertising spend. Best as I can tell. You know, spends off 20, 25 percent. That's a conservative, you know, forecast. But again, to your point, it's that subjective go forward forecast. What do they expect to see ahead of them? And that's I think it's so hard as a trader right now because you really, you know, the what does executives say on those calls is, is, is everything right now. It is. It's the hardest thing to know, right? It is. Hey, so we got the Fed. You got the ECB. Let's talk about central banks. <clears throat> Yeah, wild week, right? And you had Bank of Japan earlier in the week stating they're going to do whatever it took, unlimited uh, purchases in the bond buying po program. They're already buying ETFs. Um, you got the ECB Thursday. And I continue to say, and we talked about this last week, Europe's in just a, such a tough spot. They, they really have not recovered from the Great Recession or the debt crisis. They're certainly not doing much here. Uh, and, and their economies have been stagnating. I don't think the ECB does much this week either. I think that's very bearish for the euro. Uh, I think it's a political problem that's that's manifesting itself with economic consequences. There's not much the ECB can do to resolve that. I think long term, short term, medium term, it's going to be really challenging for the euro. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my longer term euro forecast to some might be shocking, but you know I think we've got a 20 to 30 percent move uh, over an extended period of time, but. Um, as the rest of the world pulls out of this, there's no question in my mind that they're going to be the laggard. Um, they're going to be susceptible to a second wave. They, they, they just and they haven't again. They have not gotten the debt problems, the political problems, anything else out of that out of this shit yet. And now they're just compounding it. So uh, and again, we talk, we, go ahead. No, it's pretty cool here, man. I remember. So this is well, I don't remember this, okay, but. 
Yeah, 20%. That's, that's the last time the euro traded like that. At, at 80 cents was in 2000, man. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. And, and I, you, you, when you look at the dollar, and clearly, you know, the dollar will, you know, it could be coming off its highs right now, but will continue to strengthen, you know, yeah. world reserve currency as the euro is weak. And I think the euro is disproportionately weak against the yen. And again, it's a tale of two central banks. You have the BOJ literally saying we'll do whatever it takes earlier this week. Uh, again, you got geopolitical threats on the horizon, which will benefit the end, like North Korea. No one really knows what's happening with them, but that's not going to be a good story, right? That'll strengthen the end. Yeah. You know what's amazing? Continues it, to slip. It, Jason, what's amazing, and, and I think, folks, that you can really see how strong the United States is. And you also can see, you know, for the mantra that, you know, government's too big. I want smaller government. I want all that. I, I guarantee you, folks, after this is over, if you haven't seen what the government has done and, and you know, they've kept us alive. <laughs> so there's going right. to be, gonna be a whole different dynamic here about, you know, throwing eggs at the government on a continual basis, because you can see the differential kind of what you're talking about, why Europe is basically history, because they, they, they're not powerful enough to do it, number one, and they're too... St- you know, the, to so many countries, they're just too separate. It seems it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's too fragmented. And yeah. you, you've got. Thank you. Yeah. You know, you've, got, you, you've got Norway with, you know, a pretty sound economic picture, but they're dealing with the oil crisis. You've got Italy and Spain in the south with the debt. Germany trying to thread the, the needle. You know, Merkel has said she's going to be out of office in 12 to 18 months. She's going to retire. Who knows what happens there? I, I just, this thing is going to continue to fragment and splinter. And I, the right. in so, trouble. oil. Let's talk oil, man. <laughs> I hey, mean, it's it's twelve dollars and sixty nine cents, man. <laughs> I, you know, you, what's so funny is never before in my life have I had to check the percentages. Normally, right, we look at these numbers so often. I know it was twelve seventy. Like I forget, like I hear thirteen, and I need the context of the percentage because it's all still so foreign and it's moving so much. Right, you just, from session to session, hour to hour, I need to reset on the percentages of where we've been. You know, again, I mean, just. Oil is, 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 I know we're changing topics, but similar story. I mean, it's just under extreme pressure and going to continue to be very bearish. Uh, you know, the ETS and the commodity indexes are already rolling to June to try and take some pressure off a month. But, you know, we're going to be full on storage by mid-May. Now, hey, um, do you still live in Oklahoma? No, I'm from Oklahoma, yeah, but you're from uh, Oklahoma. I live in the D.C. area now. Okay, yeah. I got it. No, because I know Oklahoma is a monster oil state, right? Oh, yeah. Oil yeah. and gas. Yeah. Right. Okay. The horizontal right. wells are, are all over the place. Absolutely. Okay. And, you know, it's interesting you bring up Oklahoma because uh, this week, and this is a little bit of a nuanced oil and gas story, but they've told producers that they can shut in their wells yep. and not break the lease. Typically, if you shut in your well, you break your lease because you're paying you know, royalties to, to the landholder. Okay. But that should help us shut in production. I think it's a bullish positive gas story. Because uh, producers will be more likely to shut in production, but oil's got oil's got this. The time for oil to get to get healthy for this market to get healthy is going to be better measured in certainly months, if not years, at this point. Yeah, um, it's it's just going to be a long time. And so now let, let's flip that and go into the gas market because what what does happen, of course, is that the gas is almost is it a byproduct of oil? I mean, it almost seems it, right? Yeah, I mean, especially in the horizontal wells, you get what's called associated gas. Ten to twelve percent of the natural gas produced in this country is while while drilling for oil, which okay. is you know, okay. a significant number. Um, and, and you know, the oil is typically you know led for many companies. Um, you know, the the capitalization and the, the the profits and the cash flow from oil have fed some gas production. Gas production has ramped up. You've got LNG and some other. Places, you know, folks like Chevron have tried to monetize gas, but they've really used the oil profits to lead that. But as as those well, wells get shut in, and we're seeing a record rate of rigs come off the field, um, again, I really think that's net bullish for gas. I think we could be looking at two fifty three dollar gas potentially um, by early to mid summer if the weather gets constructive as well. Um, because as you know, gas produces uh, electricity sure. for much of the country. Um, but as the country opens back up, it's been very cool in some places. The weather's been a barbell. We've had it cool up north, and they're burning heat. we very hot down in Florida and in Texas, and folks have got the AC on. Um, and folks have switched with the lower gas prices from coal to gas. Uh, you know, we've I've been buying futures in the you know, 150 to 160 range, um, you know, 
multi-year lows, and I think we could be up by two fifty three dollars by midsummer. A very constructive on the gas, gas, yeah, and, no. on the gas is developing. You know, and and gas has been going down for so long. I mean, I know we can get to zero. <laughs> we know we can go negative now, but the That's reality right. is that with all those oil wells shut down, it's going to make make a big difference, man. No doubt. Absolutely. And, and gas is much less sensitive to the demand problems that we've had because, again, we're still in our homes. We're still heating and cooling. We're still using electricity. Mm, no, no uh, doubt. Not the demand destruction we've seen in oil. Well, listen, man, we appreciate the update and uh, look Love forward it, to speaking to Thursday. All right, man. We'll talk to Elon Musk and his pay package with Tesla. Yeah. Oh, good. Can't uh, wait. Oh, oh, my God. It's coming up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow's up 84. Nasdaq's down 64. S&P's are up 4. We're coming right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has developed a daily programming lineup for traders by traders. We start every trading day live at 8.30 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien hosting the morning market kickoff as he starts the day off by breaking down everything you need to know about what's going on for the trading day ahead. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento takes your calls and questions live on the air for the opening bell as he hosts Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Trading Hour. At 11 a.m., it's Kevin Hicks and Alex Coffey from TD America. Trade Network with Fast Market, Basil Chapman at noon with the Tiger Technicians Hour, Steve Rhodes hosts the Trader's Edge at 1 p.m., Dave White with the Power Trading Hour at 2 p.m., and Tom O'Brien closes out the day for the final hour of trading live from 3 till 4. Don't miss a second of our daily programming lineup. Tune in to Tiger TV every trading day live at TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now uh, is uh, up 80. NASDAQ is off 65. S&Ps are up 4.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the right-hand side. You basically just hit subscribe. You can get Basil's newsletter for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $5.95, which is a savings of $173 or 22%. You can get it for a year for $9.95, which is a savings of $541 or 35%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Everything to gain, zero to lose. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? 
Very good. Thank you. So have they opened those tennis courts up there for you yet? You know, I don't think they've even started preparing the uh, oh. outdoor courts, the, the uh, clay courts. Uh, Not yet. Okay. There's nothing. Nothing happens. I don't understand it. Surely... Well, what's the problem playing singles? One person's on the one side, yeah. the other person's on the other. You're you certainly a, a long glove. way away from and each other, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're certainly distance, right? Yeah. Anyway, they'll, they'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> so, so what are we looking at here, Basil? I get the so, charts up here. So what we're looking at is within the context of uh, the, the, the uh, always trying to identify a low bar and then merely counting each success of the higher peak, anticipating at least four higher peaks going A, B, C, D. D is the fourth highest peak. Other things can happen there. Let me just show you this quickly right here. If I can just find it. There it is. So... I, you come down, then you try to identify the low bar. And what's really nice with this technique is that if you're able to pick almost the exact turning point, after that, it gives you a really good cover for um, any wildness that happens. Because if you get close to the turning point and it moves away from that turning point, then all the corrections, unless it's going to take out that low or take out that high, should keep you in the trade. And that's kind of what's happened to us because we went along the Dow uh, via call options right on the 23rd of March. Still we've um, taken 300% and 400% gain and we've, um, we've rolled it over into uh, the May contract. And uh, we also long from 210 in the Dow. And when you look at the chart itself, now let me just go back to the chart. So that's basically what we look for. We look for at least four higher peaks. You can see here it can go higher to E, F, and G, or it can, it's at D that other things can happen. That's my expression. Yes. So what we're looking at is that in the Dow, we went to D, pulled back a little bit, ran up to E. Now, what's really interesting, that started a trend line. You see this green line here on the left side chart? Yes. This, this is the day. Actually, I'm just for the moment, I'm going to go to my the one that I show my subscribers every day. In this case, I show the same thing, the daily chart. That's without the MACD and stochastic. Then the middle one has more the technicals plus my automated Chapman wave resistance points. And this is the 120-minute bar right here of the, of the Dow. So I give a, a every day I give a kind of a synopsis of what we're looking at in all the time frames, all the di different levels to look at. And what I'd say, this level, this green line, should become a resistance point. At the same time, a little higher, we've got automated uh, resistance levels at 24,800, 24,900. But on the short term, the 120-minute chart, we have a resistance at 24,486. Well, we went a little higher today. We went to 24,512. 24, now we're going sideways. So this is where a lot of things can happen. There's another thing that I talk about, and I'm show the inversion of this. This is the, this is the narrowing wedge formation, a rising wedge formation, okay. but it's one that narrows to an apex, to the point. So this one shows the red support line. See all the different levels yeah. that, we, that have held very nicely. And this one has the uh, resistance. So we're right on the cusp here. So I am anticipating because so many of the indices have gone to uh, an E or an F in the daily chart. They, they're getting ready for some kind of a, at least a digestive phase. It doesn't have to happen, but I, we're, we're ready for that. And at the same time, you see this narrowing wedge, this exact opposite wedge that we have on a particular stock that we um, that we bought at, uh, here we go, this is called Cirrus, Cirrus Corporation, Global Blood Transfusion Components is the, the area that they're in. So we were very fortunate, we got in at $4.43 on the first. And then I drew this pattern, you know, I, I did a webinar two weeks ago, an all-day webinar. One of the patterns we were looking at was a pattern that I, I like to give nicknames to these. Uh, I call it the falling axe. Basically what happens is the price runs up, keeps bumping into resistance, and then pulls back and has lower highs and much lower lows. And then it starts to rally. And it gets to a point where it creates a resistance level. In this case, it's right at the 200 period moving average. And then what I drew, and I, I spent some time showing subscribers, and I showed in that we spent a little time in my webinar on this. And I said there's a technique I developed a long time ago that's like a one-to-one. -one. It's called Chapman Wave one-to-one -one parallel extension. The whole thing about it is that the angle of the incline becomes the angle of the next incline. And in this trend line resistance, if it breaks out, this trend line then becomes support, and what I do is I draw a 
the same thing, the, the distance from the bottom, 271, to this particular level right here at the breakout, which was at about 470. And then I extended, and I had this out as a, that's where, that was the target. And look where it hit. Today, it went, uh, we were in at 443, it hit $6.40. It's in a leg F, but and I'm expecting it to pull back a little bit. But that, that's a technique. That's one of the techniques that we worked on that I show subscribers. So I like to show subscribers exactly what we're doing, what, what particular technique we are using at the time. And this is a nice example. So um, I thought I'd, 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 I'd explain that. We're also at this time not going for very high price stocks. I'm trying to get some low price stocks because I do think we're in a very difficult phase now. I mean, what can Google say? I don't know. The, the advertising revenue must be just gone. Advertising, I think. And sure. TripAdvisor, Trip Advisor, which I think is here, in, and, and it was in Newton, where I live. Uh, it's now in Needham. They opened this brand new, beautiful building, and they just announced they're going to close, I think, 600. Um, taking away 600 jobs in downtown Boston. Wow. So uh, you know, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be difficult. So I think we're in for a little bit of a consolidation. We had a spectacular run. And what I really like about the, the movement in the Dow is that the weekly chart has just begun a leg B. I wanted to see that B now. It stopped right at the 14 period exponential moving average, this black line right here. But uh, to think under all these conditions that at this stage, the Dow could have dropped from 29,500 down to the 18,200 and is now in just one, two, three, four. This is the fifth week from below, and it's gone up 51 or 50 percent. I think that's admirable, and, but you can see all the resistance levels here. So I think we're maybe sideways for a little while, but um, so far, we're very lucky that we've got stocks that have done very nicely. We bought a very low price stock yesterday uh, on Friday. I'm sorry, at one. I think it was at 185. Today it hit uh, 240. It's pulled back a little bit. It's at 213. So it hit. It gave a, a quick 40% uh, uh, gain, and now it's pulled back a little bit. Yeah, I do I like it. it. Yeah. So I, we, we, I'm trying to be very strategic here because I think the easy, well, I don't know if it's easy, but the easier part has been done. Perhaps now it comes a little bit more difficult. Folks, and real easy to get Battle's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You see the opening call right on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. Battle, you have a great night, a safe night. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow at noon. And good luck for your upcoming webinar. It's yeah, we're we'll rolling there. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow, Dow up 75, Nasdaq down 68, S&P's a flat. We'll come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30000 to 75000 the interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 76. Nasdaq's down 73. Uh, S&P's right now up uh, one and a half. And as I said a little bit earlier, the S&P's, uh, you know, they've been they've been hanging tight, man. Uh, I, I what I what I do expect we're going to see out here is that uh, where this firework is going to be uh, inside of Google. Uh, Google right now, you got uh, what do we got? Yeah, you get. We got 18 minutes before the close. Uh, you, Google's going after this high volume high, high volume low rather, uh, which is uh, laying out here at 12:09. Uh, we'll see where that shakes out. That was the high volume low from last week. We sold off all uh, right from the get go today. Google made a high yesterday. It was 1.6 million. You're at 1.869 right now. That's saying number one, you're going to get down there. Now, what gets really interesting about Google is this: is that the way this is laying out right now is that you're also going to be coming right into the trend from the way up. You know, uh, that trend line, it's actually a lot lower. That's uh, it's not that much lower. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, no, it really isn't. The trend is 1189. So you break 1189, then you'd be down there at that 11, 1130. 1130 is the breakout area. That was the, the big bar that was on uh, April 6th. That's across all markets, folks, okay? Uh, and we actually, when we do look at the market in general, that's where my take is that we're actually going back to. Let's go to Al in Homo Sasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing up here. It's uh, fantastic. So are you live in Homosassa uh, now? I, I just want to let the people know that they've opened up the kayak and then that in uh, Crystal River in Homosassa and Citrus County. That's so awesome. If you need a place to come up and enjoy. It's just beautiful up here. And folks, okay, where Al is, okay, this is one of uh, Bridget and I's favorite places, okay? If you go to, uh, if you Google, Google Three Sisters, and they're springs, and this is where all the manatees hide out in the winter. They're there all summer. Um, it's natural springs. It's amazing. Almost. So when did you move to Homer Sasser, Al? Uh, when I made enough money in the gold market with your uh, <laughs> gold report. That's uh, too funny. Um, That's awesome, it, man. Yeah, I'm serious. I did. Oh, no, I, listen, I know. I, I get it. I, mean, I bought houses it. in the gold you market. I, I know. I, 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 I get it, man. doubled our money there, and uh, we were in uh, GOLD, yeah. and uh, we almost doubled our money there, and uh, it, it's true. I mean, uh you came out with PSSS when they had that, uh, when they killed that, uh, that, uh, terrorist. And, yeah. uh, that was on a Monday. The report came out. They, they, I think they did it on a Friday or something. And you had the report. We doubled, and then went par parabolic and we got out of there. And then I, I took a, uh, one of my accounts at 15,000 and turned it into 45. And, uh, I mean, I lost my leg in that, and I was in the house that's three stories. I bought a duplex that's handicapped up in Homosassa for um, 174000 Wow. And it, and it was already handicap accessible in that. Sweet. And it had, it, it's uh, like a, a 2,200 uh, square feet, and each side is about 11, and it's handicap accessible. So I... Moved up there, and then we were in the process. We we bought two lots. I took the money, the profit that I made from the gold and that, 
back in November. And you're the one that uh, really taught me that you have to take the profits for them to be real. That's right. And I really appreciate that because remember what I took my wife uh, with the profits from you and the cruises, some yeah. of the no, other things that yeah. you, you, you told me. Um, well, you're we in a beautiful Europe, place, we man. We went ahead and took uh, cruises and that, and then we spent a month last year in Europe before everything happened in that, and the profits you make aren't real until you actually take them. That's and, right. Uh, That's right. So you want to look at your monogold? I really gold? appreciate it. Yeah. And I, I don't know if people know this, but what do you think the cost to build up here in Crystal River and Home South? Like this, you know what it costs to build in Tampa, but what do you think it costs to build up here? So, so where he is, folks, this is a really special place, okay? It's like, it's like old Florida, and it's pristine. Uh, what blows my mind, you know, I don't know what it would cost to build up there. I think, I mean, I don't think it would be more expensive yeah. than it's costing me down here. Um, I guess because most of the time you're using subs, but... It's a special place, man. There's no, there's no doubt, and it's not built. Eighty-four dollars a square foot. Okay, okay. And you know what it's like? Uh, about one hundred and thirty oh, yeah. to one hundred and sixty in Tampa. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah they built a lot of developments up here back in the seventies, and they didn't. Unfortunately, they didn't take off. But the infrastructure is already there. I bought two lots. Um, with water and sewage, um, uh, point, uh, six, uh, uh, 0.63, I bought two, so I got like an acre and a third. I bought them for fifteen five a piece. Man, I got to get up there. That's sick. That's, I know it's sick. That's sick, man. But um, I wanted you to look at uh, AUY because, you know, I, I usually pick off stocks that when they, they get – Close to four dollars. Yeah. I write them up to like four to so like I did with TFI up to eight dollars a stock before I got, got out. Yeah, you get your mine of gold, the lowest 178, the highest 495, and I just stay right there, man. This is trying to bust through that seven year consolidation it's in, and it's pushing that baby with volume. So the, the volume up at that consolidation at 590 is a 240 million and you've already done 446 this month man my take is it's going to bust it it's going to it's going to make that run Five, 590 is the next number on this man so yeah i so i usually take them like from four dollars up to uh like 750 to eight dollars they usually run just look what gfi did for me yeah so they're coming out with numbers too al uh, the 30th. So Thursday uh, before the market, they're coming out with the numbers. Um, you know, so you get that's going to be yeah, a heads look, up. Look what look at I, I told you about harmony and that. Uh, Harmony's on fire. And that, yeah. Yeah. And that's the rand. You know, the the bottom line. You know, harmony. You know, stock folks in uh, six weeks went from uh, 176. You're at 350 right now. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm just shout out to. Uh, Crystal River in that area is open. There's a pl nice place called Miguel's uh, that's on the water. And unfortunately, uh, they're closed down because they because of this uh, virus and that. But they're set up for the debts and that debts get it like a ten percent discount. And, and you, you know, you know, you know where it's amazing. And that and they're right on the water. Yeah, they have it where the boat can the boat can pull up and everything else. You, and you know where we go? So we go nice to Kings here, Kings Bay Lodge. Kings Bay Lodge, Bridget turned us on to it. She's been going up there for years. It is an amazing place. It's right on the water. It's a little, we call them the cracker places, folks. Okay, old Florida cracker places. This has, this is the biggest uh, natural pool in all of Florida. So what happens, they built these years ago, folks. It's a natural pool. The springs come in. The springs right in the pool. It goes out. Google it. it and if you're around there, Go, because it's you'll have a blast. Al, thank you so much, man. Have a great one. Have well, a safe remember, one. Remember, get the gold report if you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's fantastic if you want to make some money. He, he's Please, on. He's on the royalty days. plan. He's on the royalty plan, folks. I'm only kidding. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Dow, Dow, right now is up two points. Nasdaq's down 103. S and P's are up eight and a half. We'll come right back.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated traded fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so, NASDAQ, NQs, which have been leading us down, folks, okay? Uh, they're doing the job uh, in a big way. You got the NQs right now down 160. Uh, you're basically breaking the low that was established out here this morning um, at, well, at this afternoon at noon. That was uh, 86.80. Right now, you're at 86.60. Uh, it's it's a big number uh, now. The S and P, and this is what this is a monster heads up, folks. The S and P, as I said a little bit earlier, that was holding tight. The bulls and bears were fighting in an incredible way, uh, and it looks to me like right now it's just going to give it up. Now, what happens when you give it up? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we just we're, we're right at it. We're right at the cusp. The cusp is this twenty eight fifty four, twenty eight um, fifty three. Uh, you're coming into this, though, with monster volume. Let me, yeah, five minutes. We're going we're to blow this thing away. Now, if that's what you get, uh, a blow away in that S&P right now, uh, your next stop down is basically 50, uh, well, no, another 20 points lower, 2831. Uh, so the battle has been on here. What you want to take into consideration is this. When you have longer-term battles like this, like this battle's been going all, on all day long, when you have a longer-term battle like that, the market itself, okay, meaning the bulls and bears, whoever actually wins that battle, the acceleration can go further the way that it's going. 
because the battle was taking place so long. And I'm talking about in the S&Ps right now. So we'll see uh, what ends up happening when Google comes out. The Google's going to be coming out right after the close. The market's worrying about it a bit right now. That's, that's where, I, where I'd say. And there's going to be a lot more than Google is coming out. Uh, you know, the reason I'm bringing Google up so tremendously is this, is that when you take a look at the digital business in general, the COVID-19 has basically destroyed a huge amount of business plans, except for the digital business. Okay, now the digital business, advertising-wise, yeah, but there's a lot more to it than that. You know, we're more of us at home, we're searching, so you get a lot of action here. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion pit to step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Have a great night, safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning, folks. Tell your friends, 8.30, Tommy kicks us off. Great show. 